All right, friends, let's start our art. The first step is to grab your two pieces of paper. You can put them both on your paint placemat like this. And you're gonna start with one and you're gonna trace your hand with a pencil. So when you place your hand down, try and put it in the middle of your paper and lay it down flat. Now, when you trace, you want your pencil to be straight up and down, nice and tall, all the way to the ceiling. You don't want it to be curving under like this. That'll make kind of a weird looking hand when you trace it. So I'm gonna start with my wrist down here at the edge of my paper. I'm gonna go all the way up. Notice how straight and tall my pencil is. My fingers are spread apart so I can get in between them with my pencil. Going slow. And then when I get all the way back down to the second part of my hand, the wrist, I'm gonna go all the way down and then stop. All right, if I missed any parts, I can just draw that back in with my pencil. Or if I maybe accidentally went under my hand instead of straight up and down, I can erase and try that part again. Okay, now I am going to start to mix up my unique skin color. So I need my paintbrush and a mixing plate. So your mixing plate, friends, should look like this. This is what we call a paint palette. This is where we mix colors. So I want you to try and mix your color in the middle because we're gonna need a lot of paint to paint our hand. So I'm actually gonna put my second white paper to the side, maybe under my placemat while I'm mixing up my colors here. All right, so I'm trying to match my skin color using just these colors of paint, the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, and two neutrals, black and white. Now I'm gonna show you a few different ways that you can mix up your unique skin color and then I'll show you how I'm gonna try and match mine. So here's the formula that we're all gonna start with for our skin color. We're all gonna start with white and you want the biggest glob of white. So you want the white to be the most color that you put down right now. Then I'm gonna wash my brush, make sure I wash it and dry it. Then I'm going to take yellow. You want a medium amount of yellow not as much as the white, wash my brush. Then you want a little bit of red. So see how we've got a lot, a medium, a little, wash my brush. And then the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest bit of blue, like a little ant size of blue like that. Okay, so that's the formula to start. I'm gonna wash my brush and then I'm going to mix up these three colors and I'm gonna try and mix them all together really well so they're all mixed. Notice how I'm taking my colors and squishing them all together. I want every color in there. I don't want to miss any colors. Okay, so that's a pretty good start to a skin color. Now, this doesn't quite match my skin color, so here's what I'm going to do now. If my skin color is lighter, see how that doesn't quite match mine? I'm a little bit lighter than that. If my skin is lighter than that, I'm going to take my brush, wash it off, and I'm going to take more white. That's how we lighten colors. I'm gonna take more white and lighten it up. Now see, has, see how I, as I lighten this with white, see the difference? It's getting a little bit lighter. Now if I still think that doesn't match, wash my brush again and add even more white. And get all that color mixed. I think that's starting to match my color pretty well, but I still think it's a little bit too pinkish for my color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to take a little bit more yellow and try and get rid of a little bit of that pinkness. So color mixing is kind of like a science. You have to experiment with different formulas of color until you get the right one that you want. That is looking pretty good. That almost blends right in with my skin. You can test this on your hand too. That's totally fine. We can wash our hands at the end of class. I think this color works really well for me. So I'm gonna use this color to paint my hand. Now, I tried to make my color lighter, but if my skin was darker than the color that I started with at the beginning, I'm not gonna add any more white. What I would actually do is add a little bit of black each time. Now, black is a much darker color than white, so I don't wanna add as much. I'm gonna add tiny bits of black if my skin is darker. Okay, I'm gonna take this color now and I'm going to use my paintbrush to paint my hand. Try and make your color nice and smooth and nice smooth strokes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I'm gonna paint the biggest part first and then I'll go into those little skinny fingers. Those are gonna be a little bit trickier. 
Notice how we're using a nice flat brush. It helps us get into the nice flat lines really well. Now I'm gonna go on the edges of my fingers with my flat brush. And it's okay if you go outside of your fingers because we're gonna cut these hands out anyway. So don't worry if you go outside of your lines. All right, I think I've got my hand pretty much painted. I might wanna take the rest of my color here if I have any extra and do one more layer of paint so it's nice and solid and thick and smooth. All right, that looks pretty good. I think that matches my hand pretty well. All right, I've made my awesome, unique skin color. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this to the side and I'm gonna take my second paper, wash my brush off, and I'm gonna draw a background. Now, I think for my background, I wanna draw a big heart and I wanna cut my hand out and glue it to the heart after it's all been painted. You can choose whatever background you want but remember, we're trying to show love for ourselves in this work of art. So that's why I'm drawing a heart. Love for my unique self and my unique skin color. So I'm gonna actually take red and I'm gonna paint my heart red. Now I'm going kind of fast, but I want you guys to take your time and go slow. I know you guys are just learning how to paint, so you should go pretty slow. Make sure you try and stay inside the lines Get a good amount of paint on your paper. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think after I paint my heart then, I can also wash my brush and paint the background around the heart. I think I want that to be blue. So I'm gonna paint all, the, all around here blue. And remember, my heart is a little bit wet still with red paint, so I don't wanna touch the red paint. I wanna go carefully up against the red with my blue. Try not to touch it very much. Because if I touch it, then my blue and red is gonna mix and it's gonna make purple, we know. Red and blue make purple. So I'm gonna carefully just go right up against the red. If I get any red on, I can just wipe that off. I'm gonna move my paper over because I don't wanna get any of this blue on my table. That's what my placemat is for. See how I can paint and then it gets right onto the placemat, not my table. All right, I'm almost done painting my heart background. Now, after I finish painting my background, my goal is going to be to cut my hand out if it's dry and I'm going to glue it to my background. Now the good thing about glue and wet paint is that glue is wet and paint is wet, so I can glue right onto my wet background, it's okay. All right, I finished my background. Now I'm gonna get some scissors and cut out my hand and I'm gonna glue it right here to my heart. Let me get my scissors. All right, I have my scissors and I'm gonna carefully cut out my hand. It's pretty dry, it's a little bit wet still, so I'm gonna be careful when I cut it. I want, don't want to rip my hand. And also when I cut this out, I'm gonna cut out the fingers last, and I'm gonna cut out most of the hand first and put my scraps in the garbage. And then I'm gonna go into the fingers. These are a little bit trickier to cut out, so I'm gonna do that part last after all those scraps are away. That will make it a little bit easier for me to cut this out. All right, I finished cutting out my hand. I'm gonna throw my scraps in the garbage and I'm going to glue my hand right down here in the middle of my paper. Now my hand is a pretty big shape, so I wanna put my glue all the way around the edges. And it's okay if my background is still wet, I can glue right onto the wet background. I'm gonna stick this down, make sure my glue's on top, and just very carefully press all the spots down. And then I'm done, I finished my art. This looks great. I'm going to go put this on the drawing rack with my name on the back and I am finished.